Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Slope Podcast. This is going to be your weekly podcast covering the Sakamichi series idol groups. It's going to be Nogizaka 46, Kiyakizaka 46, Hinata Zaka 46, and Yoshimoto Zaka 46. Uh, this week is episode 95. We got some uh, Kenkusei news, some drama news, uh, some, some say, trailers. Jimmy. Oh, sorry. Kenkusei's. Sorry, wrong wrong group. And then, uh, yeah, amongst, amongst some other things, as always, I am one of your hosts, Jimmy, a.k.a. Swoltaku, and I'm joined, as always, by my friends and co-hosts, Boy, Boy Kuhn, and Josh, Mr. Josh Vox. Hello. 95 episodes. Five more until the Mayan calendar says... It is over. <laughs> Until the world ends, dude. Thanks to for having a great me. calamity. But before we move on to a great calamity, uh, it's time for the first segment of the show. This Ooh. is the part of the show where uh, Mr. Box goes through uh, last week's episode, finds a comment, something that speaks to him, something that really uh, sets his heart aflutter, and uh, he shares it with all of us, and we uh, have a little discussion. Sharing uh, Mr. time. Box. Yeah, do you have uh, do you have your comment ready? Yes, I do. Um, I asked that as if you didn't. Have, just, sorry, it wasn't with you when you picked it. <laughs> okay, so this one's from Toshi Asahina. Ooh, thank you for your Th- thank you, Toshi. And this one is: It was fun to see you having a good time talking about unis on air. You can be the best sales team of the game. There we go. Oh. <laughs> when, when can we get that sponsorship? Yeah, let me just get, get more jewels for that. I, yeah, I still can we need need a, yeah, can we just pull you know? on stream? <laughs> yes, I would I'm like a... Um, uh, I w- I'll take uh, 10,000 jewels for, <laughs> for, that, four for that plug last week. <laughs> That's four, four of them. And we get like one SR... Uh-huh. And like all <laughs> rares, dude. Thirty nine rares. You try your chances to one do SR, the ones. <laughs> oh, I had to do that with the tickets because I I did one oh, yeah. ticket where I just did a solo ticket out of curiosity, uh-huh. and I was like, "Fuck!" Now I have to do nine single <laughs> ticket pulls, dude. You should have just done another another challenge. Oh, the worst. How you, yeah. have you guys been doing on the game, by the way? Let me see. What level am I? Okay. I think you guys are way higher See, than me. My my teams are kind of weak, so I'm stuck trying to get you know like uh, I'm not sure how this works, but there's the uh, like score ranking, right? And it takes your top ten uh, highest scores or something like that. Oh, is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, um, to yeah. To move with like uh, the producer roadmap or whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's uh, a oh that one yeah, yeah 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 yeah. So I'm stuck at like seven million nine hundred thousand, and I like. I have to, like, uh, what do you like? Upgrade my team and shit, so I can get more points, so I can move up. Mm. Yeah, dude, it's it's the grind when you're like, okay, yeah. uh, my all all my members on my front team are level eighty now, and uh, the most I can get is an A on a full combo, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's that situation. So, mm-hmm. and since I uh, I unlocked all the songs already. I'm like, I'm just at this point where, okay. I'm no waiting. Like that, all I can do now is just grind uh-huh. the songs away. Yeah, so. there needs to be an event pretty soon because I feel like now is a time where it needs to be done because people are already catching up. Yeah, yeah. It's like, only been uh, a week. Uh-huh. I, uh, I went real ham the first week. And I did not play at all today. Dude. Uh-huh. I still need to go in and get my login bonuses. I'll probably I still do need to like, unlock two After songs. The show so I, think, over. I think I'm still good for a little. Mm. Yeah, there's still a lot to figure out. Um, I'm sure with like many other gacha games where you form a team. There's like, yeah, here's uh, mine. There's like a... Um, C plus one level what you, what do you call it? There's like a build or whatever, right? Because mm-hmm. each photo of whatever in your team has a skill and a... I'm sure they they make they'll make things that synergize and shit like that. It's just a very gamey thing to do. You know what? Uh, you know it's very disheartening watching uh like going on Twitter and seeing like a Japanese fan post a clip and they're playing on Master and like full comboing it. And you're like, <laughs> oh, have you, dude, I, have you checked the I rankings? <laughs> dude, the, it's it's insane. the number one guy uh-huh. full comboed like forty four out of forty six. Uh, of like the master because mm. right now there's 46 songs yeah uh-huh. yeah are the mm. other two too hard or what 
I don't know. He's getting there. He he comboed yeah, everything in normal and it, pro, yeah. and then on master, he he needs two more. Is, is there a big of a gap from normal to pro, from pro to master? Yes, I feel like there is an extreme gap between those two. Okay, so mm -hmm. there are songs that kind of lead you in to a higher mm -hmm. difficulty. So the, all the Kiyakizaga debut live ones, um, which is like six songs, right? Mm-hmm. Um, those like from pro to master, they're only slightly harder mm. than pro. Mm, so that's okay. like that's like the bridge between pro and master. And I assume from normal to pro to talking mm. about the difficulties. Yeah. Um, okay. I just kind of played normal so much that like I was like, okay, I have a, I have a, I have a few songs that are like really. I don't know how to say this. Like they feel boring, right? On normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I think these songs are the safe ones to like mm -hmm. move on to, to pro with. Yeah. And so that's how I kind of did it. The, the biggest so. difference between pro and master are the, the hold notes, which. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You where know, you hold and then swipe or. So like, you, like, like, yeah. A lot of the oh, songs a... in master, you hold one side and you're, you're pressing with the other hand. I can't. Oh, my brain doesn't work that <laughs> way. <dude. laughs> yeah. There's like, there's one of those in, on pro level too. Like that's where they introduce it, I think. Mm -hmm. Cause I was trying like a random song on Pro, and then like they had that, and I was like, "Pro." No, I think it's, it's just mostly... like you hold it, and then you'll you'll release and tap another one at the same time. Yeah. No, there was that's... one you hold it, and then you had to like press the other ones, and I was like, "What is this?" Oh yeah, no, no, but this is like there'll be songs in in Master where you like have to swipe and shit while doing yeah pressing. Other so you're ones. holding like you know the say the rightmost or the leftmost one, mm -hmm. and then with the other side you're like you know doing stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, mm -hmm. there's, like, various combinations. There's some where you, like, swipe mm -hmm. right to left, those kind of moves. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So. Uh, what, I, sorry, was that the comment, by the way? He's just talking about unis on air? Or was <laughs> yes, there more? Be the best oh, sales okay. team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is, this is us trying to get our money. <laughs> now we are, like, talking <laughs> about trying the to get, trying, to, trying to get our jewels. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it was, I, I was, like, pretty addicted to the game for a while there. I'm kind of, like, yeah. easing I'm out still of it right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, but I'm, like... I feel like I'm much better, like, I don't know, like, as I, like, I've run out of things to do, I kind of, like, mm. more casually play it, I guess, the mm. way it was intended. Mm. Yeah. Like, like, for a while there, it was just like, oh, come like, on, stamina, come on, the stamina. first, <laughs> whatever, just couple, one more minute. <laughs> the, I don't know, maybe the first, like, 20 to 50 levels that you do, like, you can just play mm. yeah, it through, because, yeah. like, you, when you level up, your stamina resets. And it adds mm. it onto your existing stamina. Yeah. So yeah. you're like, so you, you, have... you just have stamina forever mm. until, you know, you start trying harder songs and then you just, you know, you don't clear and stuff like that. That was mm. me because I like was fucking around trying to play songs in master difficulty. And I'm just, oh, well, so screwed up. There mm. goes like 12, There's 13 goes... stamina. <laughs> See, I was like, okay, you know what? If I, if I play this song and then like i'll have just shy of enough experience and then i'll go into the little bit the little office and try to talk to my members and get some experience that way then i'll level up and they'll get more stamina i could play more songs you know yeah, i was like that's how it was trying to like for a while. But I'm like now i'm just like eh, i'm just gonna play until i run out of stamina and when i play again i'll play again you know? i was always casual so i never got too into it like that yeah don't don't tell me you guys are buying like, you know, no, using real money. <laughs> what? No, <I'm> <laughs> uh, my 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 current rule Please for don't. myself. Uh, I haven't always been successful with this, by the way. But it's uh, to never spend money on like real money on fake money. Mm. You know, so it's like, and you know, like the the jewels are the same thing. It's like the in game currency, right, or whatever. Like I'll play money. I'll pay money to play a game. You know, I'll pay money for a game, but I'll never pay money to like fund a game in a game you know what i mean mm. yeah just like every so. other uh gotcha game so yeah for me it's like if i find enough entertainment value where i say oh this could have been a ten dollar game then i'll give them like ten dollars in terms of in in game mm. currency that, that's how See, i think of it yeah which would be fine but then you know it's never gonna stop there yeah that's a problem yeah. that, was, that was me and the fucking nogizaka game uh -huh. where i like I think I literally spent like sixty dollars in like a month once, and I was like, "Okay, that's not like super bad." But in the longer scheme of things, I was like, "I can't keep doing this, dude," because <laughs> I'll just be at home and I'm like, "Really wanna?" 
really want to you, progress you know. progress this plot, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think there's Especially always that a, one tap now. It's just like just tap once and then you got there's it. There's always a point in, in gotcha games for me where it, where it's like, all right, I should stop playing. Like there's like a, mm. a cap somewhere where it's like not as interesting than it was like in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I feel like that's like their goal is to make like the the initial as like captivating as possible, and then a lot of them kind of like fall off from there. Hmm. Hopefully, uh, Unis on Air will like continue to keep uh, putting yeah. out some events. Yeah, if you um, if you played Kiaki no Kiseki, the the puzzle one, mm-hmm. mm. I was that was actually like playing that like fairly constantly because uh-huh. they were like releasing new content at a good pace, and then they just mm-hmm. start like releasing a lot of content uh-huh. like all the time i'm like oh i can't keep up with this yeah. so. uh-huh. i'm like all right i'm, I'm good I'll, and then they change yeah. the game a little or like something like that right? I don't know, right that's probably after i stopped playing it yeah I, I think i think they changed like a little thing and i was like i'm not feeling that and then like all the events and everything like everything was just like too much at once i was just like all right i'm done yeah um uh. But anyway, it's a fun game for now. Everyone's playing it, at least everybody in our Discord. Mm-hmm. So if you if you want to come join and talk about the game, join our Discord. We share the, our friend the codes, link, screenshots. The link somewhere that. below. Below. Uh huh. Yeah. Is it on the YouTube description? Uh, may- uh maybe. Should, no, I think I believe so. It should be. I think. I okay. It. Yeah. If it's not, then tweet at us. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, come come through. Yeah, we'll try to help uh, you with achievements and stuff because it's all in Japanese. Yeah, yeah. I have trouble. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Before we move on to the current events, real quick, I guess we're kind of in a community segment of the show. We just did a highlight week, but uh, we just wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, Ryan DTW, one of the uh, like regular viewers of the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's been uh, working very hard posting uh the show on reddit hey um, yeah dude thank you we would we would really appreciate it uh i saw it i thought it was just like oh, okay cool ryan's posting it and then I, I look at the actual posts oh what's up ryan he's in the chat right now but then uh yeah looked at it and it was like these full on like written out descriptions i was like uh-huh. holy shit <laughs> <laughs> hey, um thanks for yeah posting all this stuff yeah I just uh-huh. want to say it, it doesn't go unnoticed um also just want to give out a shout out to uh star killer in uh the discord uh every week before the show he posts out like a bunch of links for like mm-hmm. current events um you know sometimes we we're busy we miss shit and uh it's kind of nice to have a place to go through and just kind of skim back and like oh okay there was this i forgot about that you know mm-hmm. uh, so much Take love care to of everybody us college for- boys yeah, much love to everybody helping out making uh-huh. the show what it is. We do appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And thanks to people who help sub like Juan and and over here Danny who's helped us a lot too. Just shout mm-hmm. out to everyone. Look at that. Ooh, shout out. A, you get so a shout out. Of, so proud of this yeah. community. Shout out to you, Jimmy. See how it's changed? Jimmy used to say he hated this community. Now he says he's proud of him. I, I hate this community like I hate Keikizaka, you know? <laughs> I understandable hate this group, dude I, I i fucking hate how much i love them <laughs> uh, thank you to all our subs by the way forget thank them you. thank you everybody yeah, yeah much love but, um uh, all right let's let's uh let's get into some current events oh thank you for the Ooh, show. gifted Ryan, sub <laughs> getting Ooh. that gifted sub there you go for all your troubles mm-hmm. um all right so thanks everybody again um let's get into the current events what's going on in Sakamichi series, um, no shillings this it's week. About to be. Before really. we started, we were saying there wasn't a lot of news, and now it looks like there's plenty of news. <laughs> thank you for it's your. Like a, it's like a lot of little things. Oh, thank you, Mascar Rich. Yeah. Tier three, fifteen months. Look at that. Damn. Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you again, everybody. Uh, let, yeah, current events time. Not a lot of shilling, actually, none. Oh. But we have to step um, up our sales game. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, I'll, there, I'll there were reach out. there wasn't a lot of current events when initially, but now there's there's actually a lot of little things, mm-hmm. not a lot of big announcements mm-hmm. per se. But let's get into it. Yeah. Um, let's talk about some of the Kenshu say. 
the 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 train what is going on please let this not happen the sakamichi series are going on tour (sighs) starting the end of october and so that those are the 15 girls who auditioned (laughs) for the sakamichi audition but they were not uh you know put in any of the groups so those girls are are going on tour they're going um, to three different prefectures so starting at Zep Osaka and then Diver City, which is in Tokyo, and then Zep Nagoya. Um, three, three dates. Um, yeah. They, they, um, I don't like the way this sounds. No, me neither. So like, I'm <laughs> guessing big fears right now, dude. I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna um, be like the you know when Kiyaki, uh, new Kiyakizaka generation or like new Nogizaka generation. When they did their whole like event thing, right? Mm, yeah, introducing themselves, which yeah. which is fine because they had just debuted in a. <laughs> they group. were part of a group, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of like the Omo Tenashi Kai with Keiki Zaka, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm guessing that's what they're gonna do. Hopefully, it's just that. Yeah, what they're... we're afraid of, I think, uh, is okay. This is how I see this playing out. Okay, they're go gonna ahead. they're gonna do this tour. As, as a 15 member Kinshusei, they're going to have all these like things about like, oh, look at how strong the bond oh, of this God. group is. <laughs> and then when it comes time for them to get split up into like whichever respective groups, some some guy from from uh, Seed and Flower is going to come out and he's like, all right, we have decided that you will form your own group. So we're going to hold another audition to hold a second gen second members gen, for yeah. this new group. And then we're going to be sitting here all men like... <sighs> that's when I quit the podcast. I'm, yeah, that's I'm done, I'm... dude. This is not... This is too much. Like, when we started, it was only Nogizaka and Keakizaka. I was like, oh yeah, it's cool, uh-huh. man. Loving this shit. Now there's going to potentially be five groups. But, but um, yeah. I think... Uh, these girls are not under one agency, right? They're, they're just under Sony mm. in general, right? They're not under yeah. uh, Nogisaka 46 or, yeah. or Seed and Flower, right? Because uh. they're not technically in either. Mm-hmm. Right. So, yeah. Uh, we'll see, I guess. Yeah. I, I'm hoping, dude. I'm hoping oh. that this, these Kenshuseis are just that. But I'm hoping at the end of this tour, they're like, all right, here are the captains. Now you will be split up into the different teams. And time that's, for that's all, a, all we hear about Ken Shuse. Time, time for a draft. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I want to do like see, a... <laughs> I would actually be excited for that. I'd be like, oh, okay, thank God. So it'll, it'll be like, you know, I want a Sugai, sports festival. <laughs> Sugai, uh, Manatsu, and Kumi. They're out there and be like, drafting you. <laughs> I, I want them to make you, like a you, full you. on NFL draft, dude, where it's like, yeah. they're like fucking two guys like, all right, we'll trade you a Matsudaira for a first <laughs> round draft pick. That's what I was hoping the 48 group draft was going to be like. like full on member switching groups. You know, Ooh, that's that's a disaster uh-huh. right there. That's that's just like 48 group bullshit right there, dude. No, I don't, I don't want to deal so with that funny, stuff, bro. Dude. Yeah. That's why that's why I'm I'm into Sakamichi series. Because uh, they're the same thing without all the bullshit, dude. Mm. But now it looks like we're gonna get there anyway. Uh, mm-hmm. Hopefully they like just compete against each other and then they see who's popular and then like those members get chosen out to like different groups. I feel like a new group would mm. Yeah. And just just I, I, everyone's just gonna be I like, mean, all right. Yeah. I, I think there's yeah, momentum, think... but you don't wanna kill the momentum, right? Well, I think that like there's momentum, and then like doing making a new group is like the opposite of building up on this. Momentum, yeah, 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 that's why. Yeah. You know? I like, can just uh, imagine like the general public being like, "Ugh, another one." Mm-hmm. We've seen mm-hmm. this yeah. before. It's like the AKB thing again. To be because to be fair, I feel like that was generally like the f- overall reception with Hinata Zaka, right? Yeah. Like, it was kind of like Ugh, another one. But see, like you know? at least the thing is with Forty Eight Group, they were in a different location. Right, mm-hmm. so technically they were like, oh, the local idols of yeah, yeah, yeah. Osaka or, or you know that kind of shit, where all the Sakamichi groups are in Tokyo except Yoshimoto yeah. Zaka. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah, it's kind of yeah, yeah, exactly. I feel like 
like Hinata Zaka only makes sense if you like know the lore, yeah, right? Yeah. Like if you, <laughs> if you, like, oh, let me tell you, oh, chosen, <laughs> chosen one about the ancient group. Let me read the scripture. Kiaki Zaka forty six, and then they're look at this artifact. <laughs> forgotten, the forgotten stepchild here, Hiragana, dude. But that rose child up. rose up. <laughs> That's just. It's just Team yeah. B, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you notice? I don't know. Here's Team 4 coming up. Yeah, or is dude. that Yoshimoto Zaka? You know, Keiaki Zaka's Team K. They're cool and edgy. Or is Yoshimoto Zaka like mm-hmm. BNK? <laughs> it's like Zaka the same is, colors too, right? Or if you change the pe- pink to purple. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right? Because Team A is pink, uh-huh. then Nogi Zaka is purple, then Team K is green. green. Is K, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, they're SDN. I don't like it. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. This is just, yeah. uh, you know, Akimoto Yashis, Yasushi's, you know, big brain. Mm-hmm. 200 Yo, IQ plan right there. I'm going to do this right shit there. again and last another 10 years. They're not going to notice until it's too late. <laughs> so we're just oh, like, oh, these shit. girls already. <laughs> He did it to us again. <laughs> Next one, they're going to be all over Japan. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Anyway, we'll see. Yeah. At the yeah. end of November, yeah. that's when they're, they're tour. I'm, I'm looking forward to like getting to know these girls a little bit more, too. There's a few that I that I liked from the audition mm-hmm. that Same. I'd like to get to actually know. So. Yeah, they're uploading videos like almost every day, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, all of, at least their profile thingies on their mm-hmm. website, they're all... Uh, done with that i think yeah if you check the twitter they were updating it too there yeah yeah so uh let's keep going there's no updates yet from yoshimoto zaka with their third single mm-hmm. but um we're still waiting hinata zaka released the third single uh mm-hmm. we've been checking out some music videos from that mm-hmm. uh but recently at least this week, I guess, current events. They released the previews of the extra stuff that's going to be on the Blu-ray and DVD. I have not whatever. seen this yet. And it, and the theme is like uh, what they do their in their day, day off, off kind of thing. Yeah. Mm. And you know, but is it really their day off since they're being recorded? No, no, it, no, it's not. You see, Stop Iguchi to ruin the immersion, Josh. You, you see, on. Iguchi going to see I, her man, dude. They're not gonna show her. Like, oh. She's like, "All right, I'm gonna go see my boyfriend now because yeah. it's my day off. It's the only time yeah, we dude. get to hang out." Uh-huh. You know, like, "Whoa, what? Or this like, is so real." Yeah, and so uh, you know, the it's split up into three versions, right? So there's mm-hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know, six to seven, maybe five members in each type. Um, yeah, dude. If you liked a. Uh, Brushing teeth in photo books, dude. This uh-huh. is gonna be a whole new level, dude. Oh yeah, full so. video, morning <laughs> teeth brushing, dude. Yes. So when you... people think they're dirty, you know they gotta uh-huh. show it. Yeah. Like, oh, gotta brush my teeth. Mm-hmm. If you go to their YouTube channel, um, some members like the full ones are there. Oh really? I, at least mm. one member from each type, like as a preview. So the oh. type A has the Kawata Hina, Kawata San. Um, I want to watch that one anyway. Where she she like goes on a picnic with herself. Uh, but it, the Have the video <laughs> starts yeah. like with the alarm. They're sleeping, and then she wakes up, and then she does her morning routine. Also, oh, it's like from the start to like the end. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be thing. their entire day off. Everyone's digging the Katoshi one because she like does all this does like, all this random like shit I don't know. really <laughs> put on this wig oh let me let me oh, change my luck and shit yeah. it's like what what are you doing it's okay. she's upgrading herself she's seeing what works what doesn't yeah they do yeah, their dude. makeup and all that she, fun shit when she like dresses up as like a, a dude or like the boyish look mm-hmm. i don't know why it just makes me think of when like sashi had the short hair dude oh i can see that she looks like chiori dude <laughs> Mm, I can see that too. She, she looks like Chori from from <laughs> AKB, dude. <laughs> uh, that's the Type B version. Uh, for Type C, there's the Kosaka Nao one. So, you you think oh. they want to show that one? You think that'd be like she's one the center? Wanted, like, that's weird. Yeah. Mm. I want to yeah. see one. I wonder if there's one where it's like morning routine and she's just sleeping the whole day. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, this Noon. is my day off, dude. <laughs> 1 p.m. Oh, oh shit! Just keeps <laughs> oh, oh, it's late. Better get something to eat, dude. 
Uh, I, feel, I feel like some breakfast. Oh, it's already two p.m. She like doesn't even uh, like. Doesn't matter. She doesn't even like wash her face or take a shower. She's <laughs> just, just like, ugh, just sits there. I, just, I, I hope. I hope like you go to you watch Kumin's and she's just day drinking the entire time. <laughs> Sure like, you all know, these, people have a glass of water next to the all desk. All these girls stressing whiskey. <laughs> all these girls be stressing me out, man. I can't, can't do this anymore. Uh, so the Kosaka now, when she takes the Shinkansen and hangs out with her friend or something, mm. she goes to Osaka. Isn't that where from she's Tokyo? from? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Friend, That's like a hundred dollar ticket. Just uh, it's Kosaka now, man. She's the center. <laughs> she's the center, dude. She's uh-huh. a model. I think she right, she, she got money, she dude. Come on. Um, if you if you can't be affording Shinkansen tickets, don't even bother. <laughs> don't try. <laughs> See if this if you, was if me. You're one of those guys. Be like, oh, let's just save some money. Take the cheap train. Yeah, let's step, just take the bus. Yeah. Step down, dude. Let's take the night bus. If if, uh, if this was me, like a day, it would be like so boring, dude. I woke up at like uh, ten. <laughs> uh, All right, guys. So uh, I'm about to play Code Vein for another six hours, <laughs> and then uh, I guess I'm eating. I'll go to sleep. <laughs> you know, I didn't uh, do shit today. It's what like are you from gonna? Lift. Where are you gonna? Where are you gonna cook for food? I right, threw some steak in the sous vide. Dude, <laughs> just gonna chill in there. <laughs> Take it out in like two hours. Just sear it. I'm good. Yeah, dude. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the extra stuff from their third single. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, if you guys, uh, if you guys want to see what Slope Club does on our day off, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> put, uh, support us on Patreon. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. Um. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about some more Hinata Zaka. Ooh. Speaking of Kosaka, now she's gonna be oh. in a movie Ooh. called uh what? The, the Japanese, Japanese doll, doll in English, I guess. No, it's uh something Ningyo. Kyofu uh, yes, Ningyo. Kyofu Ningyo. Kyofu. Yeah, like scary doll. <laughs> oh no. I was gonna be like, well, well, at least you know what it's about. Guess what kind of movie it is? It's a horror movie because Jimmy, you know, your favorite. Those are the only movies that idols can do. Well, it's like you know, like Scream Queens, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, everything's all yellow. Uh, it's just, you can tell it's gonna be spoopy. Dude. Oh, it looks like Jimmy's room. Uh. <laughs> So in the trailer, this girl. I live in a horror movie now, dude. Oh no, this, this... dude! If I if I walked home, my room legit looked like this, like uh-huh. how it does on camera. I would never come home, dude. Uh... Like it's actually super well lit right now because I have all these video lights facing uh-huh. this way. This Kosaka now is not even in the trailer, man. Yeah, she is. She's at the end. She's oh, at okay. the end. Yeah. Oh, it's like Chucky, but it's a Japanese doll. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's all murderous. Okay, that's great. Uh, I guess she's starring. That's cool. Uh, I mean, mm-hmm. it's a horror movie, man. They, the, all the horror movies that have idols in it suck. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you, man. Confirmed. Uh, yeah, it's you know, it's not no you know classic Japanese horror like Ringu or anything like that. You know, mm, mm-hmm. it's always it just kind of it's always some like uh, yeah like what is it like B B list yeah movie, it's right? just you know. Canna. It's always like Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> Sharknado. Except for that's like ironically enjoyable though. Yeah, dude. There's mm. like four sequels, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't actually seen Kosaka now do any acting. So I, I don't know. Well, if you're if you're really curious, you can check out uh, Hinata Zaka Forty Six has a new drama oh coming God. out. It's never ending. Uh, <laughs> there it is. It's uh, called a. It says a da weird Santa. name. <laughs> da, da, da Sa- Santa. Da Santa. I don't even know what this means. Uh, but yeah, yeah they okay. you know they had their um, concert, the the release party for the third single, mm-hmm. and I that's mm-hmm. when they revealed it. So I don't know what this is about. Yep. All we know is it's in January 2020. All we know is it looks like a soap opera, dude. Look uh, at that. It look looks at that. 30 terrible. frames per oh. second, dude. Ooh. So of course it's a it's a school drama. I don't know. It seems like Bemiho is gonna outact everyone. <laughs> 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 actually, actually showing some emotion there. I don't know, man. Uh-huh. Yes. This I get nothing from the trailer whatsoever. I just feel like Kosaka's character is just being weird. I don't know. Everyone else is being kind of campy, and then there's Bemio. 
Mm. Actually acting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because so. campy is usually like how these go, right? Like, because it's safer to act in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's like uh, usually you want like when someone's learning how to act, you want to like make them go like over the top, right? And then you scale that back. Once they get better or whatever. Back part is like yeah, that's the getting better part. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's why uh, Tokuyama Daigoro is so good. It's still mm-hmm. my favorite from any of the Sakamichi dramas. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it doesn't look like this one is a murder mystery like Tokuyama Daigoro. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know. Well, the good thing for, for these members is that the first gens already have experience with like acting and stuff like that, right? Yeah, from Remind. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bemiho no, was actually gens. in Remind. but Oh, yeah, she was. Yeah, She wasn't like a big I didn't finish it. part of it. Yeah. It's on uh, Netflix. Yeah, Ooh, if you want to check that out. If you want to preview some of their acting before uh-huh. checking out. Netflix, send me money. Decide. Send us money, Netflix. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this this goes. The best ones are still Tokiyama Daigoro and Hatsumori Bemars. Bemars, mm. Mm, my to- favorite. Tokiyama game. Daigoro, if you want some like weird black comedy style. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Murder mystery and then... Bemars is just fun and wholesome. Mm. Mm. See, that's like good over the top because that genre lends well to it because it goes for like yeah. that, like, yeah, like that Kung Fu Hustles, mm-hmm. Stephen Chow, like movie feel, right? Yep. But uh, anyways, uh, let's let's keep moving here. Um, time to get your hot dogs, boys, because these oh. ready. <laughs> these girls are ready to dive into some hot dogs because we got some new profile pictures. And the mustard is back. Oh, I my like God. how you immediately go to the page and, and then like Kageyama Yuka. It's yeah, still, no. it's right there, yeah. It's, it's, it's like, like two Hashi years ago. I don't know. Yeah. I think that was still Hiragana, right? Yeah. yeah, no, it definitely was. <laughs> Kageyama, come back, man. Come back already. Uh, but yeah, the rest all up in the mustard, dude. Ah. <sighs> Um, I, I do I do like that these are, are kind of a little bit more uniform. Mm-hmm. But it's less uh, interesting to me. Yeah. If you look at I was, the... I was uh, just going to say that, yeah. Hamigishi Hiyori ones from the last single, right? She has the background. Mm-hmm. It's all blurry and stuff. Mm-hmm. More, mm-hmm. A little bit more aesthetic, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, see, because I feel like those were just straight up portraits. And these yeah, are like yeah. profile pictures. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Though I will say, thank God they at least put some blue in there, so it doesn't feel like passport oh, yeah. pictures. Uh-huh. Oh you yeah, know? Uh, like uh, what is it? Uh, the Higashi, old one? Oh, I was gonna say yeah. Higashi Mura's in this one. If the, if you just kind of like, mm, let's turn on the saturation on the blues. Ooh, uh-huh. that's like that's passport ready, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could just use these as. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just mask out the background. Just- <laughs> Get a clean paint. Bem- Bemiho is ready for her trip. Matsuda uh-huh. is, dude. <laughs> dude, Bemiho looks like an academy picture, dude. <laughs> it's like ready for the yearbook, dude. Yeah, it's like if they're like firefighters or whatever. <laughs> Miho, Miho Watanabe. <laughs> <laughs> um, that said, though, who's your favorite? Non Oshi. Non Oshi. Ah, damn it, dude. Ah. Uh, hmm. So I like when they do like one side of the hair, like behind the ear. Mm-hmm. And a few mm-hmm. are doing that. Of course, my Oshi, Saito Kyoko, has mm-hmm. it down. And then Kawada-san. Mm-hmm. And then Kanemura also. Oh, Matsuda. Matsuda too. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, but... I think I think my favorite non Oshi one. Uh, I'm gonna give it to uh, Tomita, Parupi Chan. Mm-hmm. Really like her her expression. Very. She's got a nice big uh, big teeth smile. See, if this was a drama, she'd be the one in the academy who's all like spunky and shit. I mean, she already <laughs> is, but like, you know, main character Kosaka now. Hey, she's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's good, dude? Oh, See, just from her pose, you know. Yeah. Uh, she- like hey, she has, she has her there. hand on her hip. Yeah, hey. yeah, dude. Josh, for the tour? Josh, who, who do you? Who um, do you? Part of you was my second choice. My first choice is the Manamu. Mm. Her, mm, yes. The makeup is on point. Like her cheekbones look very well defined. It complements the lighting very well. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. 
Um, I like Katoshi's. I like how her hair looks. Mm. Looks silky mm. smooth. It's it's almost yeah, it's almost that copper color, which is very good. Mm-hmm. I like Kagayamas. Oh man, original consistency. Yeah, Over like She's four got the singles. Same expression. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, which one is your favorite third gen photo? Ooh, oh. such a hard choice, man. I don't know which one I don't like. <laughs> Damn, Josh. Okay. <laughs> so negative all the time, dude. Jesus Christ. I, I, I have one that I don't like and one that I like, so. Mm. Okay. Right on. There uh, there you go. I'll let the audience guess which one it is. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I do think that overall is a good choice. To, if you're going to have a plain background to give it that little blue gradient, makes the, yeah. mm-hmm. makes the yellow pop a little bit more. And it feels like, honestly, a little bit less condimenty. Mm, because it's not just yellow and brown you know it pales it out a little right yeah 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 gotta get some you know some complementary colors up in there what do you guys think about the little ties um i like the bows if you notice there's different yeah there's some bows Mm -hmm. and then there's some ties Mm -hmm. um i think the ties is what makes some of the academy pictures look very academy yeah Yeah, look at dude look at bimmy hose dude (laughs) <laughs> yeah, just... Hi, for the firefighters. I'm, I'm Mio Watanabe. <laughs> you know, she's so eager and shit, right? Like... Ooh, Matsuda Konoka would be the kind senpai, dude. Mm. Who's uh, who's the asshole senpai? Let's see. Ooh, hold on, let me see. Who who's got ties on? Uh, the Iguchi dude. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you see, see my man. <laughs> I- Iguchi Senpai, please don't be so rough on the new recruits. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna be like, mm, let's haze these, haze these <laughs> girls, dude. <laughs> Welcome to the academy. Ugh. And then Tommy tells the one that doesn't doesn't get a clue and just like is all happy with everyone. <laughs> she's like, hey guys, what? what? Yeah. <laughs> Why isn't this their upcoming drama? And mm, no, someone someone needs to hire us to write for them, dude. Yeah, uh, dude. they're at a firefighter academy and. Yeah, yeah senpai dude. whoever has the ties it's, just gonna, be, it's just gonna be a bunch of recycled jokes from police academy <laughs> <laughs> yeah hey wait what i know that joke <laughs> this movie is very familiar but that was about policemen this is fire fire yeah you just changed everything mm-hmm. but the jokes are the same anyway those are the new ones let us know which ones you like the most aside from your oceans because that is default yes that's default um most of the time right we're gonna we're gonna keep going oh before we go to that oh since, since there's no since there's oh. no um kiyakizaka yeah. news um, there is no kiyakizaka. i got this that's right josh this got is the a koike minami photo book Ooh, scale mm. of one to ten um can i give a description how i liked it instead it's fine <laughs> he asked for a um, scale dude it is very standard in a good way. That's no, safe. like in a bad okay. way. Yeah, yeah. Safe. Um, uh huh. It's safe, but there's still a lot of her quirkiness and cuteness in it. Mm. Good. That's good. So, yeah. yeah so, so, my main takeaway is if you like Koi Kim Minami, then you will really like this photo book. Okay. So, if you had to put on a scale of one to 10, <laughs> where would that be? Uh, seven. All right. Not bad. Um, now, 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 if it was, wait, if wait, you were wait. a Koike Minami, Yoshi, yeah, yeah. where would you put it? Oh, you put this like a, like a nine or something. Oh, Ooh. so but it, Here, okay. You, you want to see my favorite photos? A a, a Koike Oshi is a nine. A Kiyaki Zaka fan is a seven. Right. What about that, yeah. just a fan of cute girls? Then it'd be like a five point nine. That's a six. I'm gonna round that up. <laughs> Yeah, that's too close. We don't yeah, do decimals here. Um, so yeah, yeah. There's a there's a thing called significant figures, Josh. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Please tell me more. <laughs> this, this, this is my favorite photo photo set. Oh, right looking more oh, yeah, mature. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I like I like the uh, setting and the outfit. I think they like complement each other well. The two shot right here. Can you show me the toothbrushing picture? You get more than toothbrush in oh, this one, boy. Wait, what? <laughs> That sounded more lewd than it should have been. Like that? There's more than just toothbrushing. Oh, you want toothbrush? That ain't all you going to get, my guy. <laughs> oh, word? Dude, I'm about to show you, get, you some things. Not only do you get toothbrush, you also get moisturizer. Oh. <laughs> See, the toothbrushing picture is uh, 
is an automatic plus one point, no matter how mm, bad the photo mm. book is. So please, uh, it's it's average cute girl fans is now a, a seven. Uh, Kiaki Zaka fans is now See, an yeah, eight. Yeah, like the, the lack of toothbrushing picture, that's a minus one dude <laughs> there's no zero there is none dude yeah that's your minus. you have or you don't dude uh-huh. mm-hmm. so i'm okay. glad that koike has has that good job yeah, good job koike yeah it's pretty good um again if you're a koike fan it's a must buy mm-hmm. keke zaga fan you, you could buy it if you enjoyed koike and if you like more of the cute side it's a little more like travel-y so Ooh, i'll give it that okay so that's good it, 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 like i think the perfect travel photo book is uh, still my tunes yeah, I agree. Um, but this one um, still gives that travel feel well. So it, it kind of feels like a travel. You're traveling with a friend, but also there's some weird professional f- photo shoots in the middle. <laughs> see, see, that's the thing I like. Um, yeah, you know, they, they like, always like, oh, exotic look. You know, you know, we went overseas and shit. Right? And they only so, take like shots at one yeah, spot. For this one, they went to... <clears throat> like someone else, right, right, Jimmy? They went to Shanghai for me, uh, mm. Koike's book, right? And it, like... If I can see that they they went to Shanghai, you know, show oh, yeah, a lot of see, like yeah, Shanghai stuff. Yeah, you should stuff. be able to yeah. see Shanghai in the pictures, yeah. right? Yeah. You, know. yeah, you see a lot of culture and like a lot yeah. of like that location. is a good because like otherwise, what like why did you have to why even bother yeah, yeah. going like, to a different country? Hor- like my my Nogizaka Oshim and Hori Miona recent photo book shot mm-hmm. in Vegas. Mm-hmm. You do not get a feel of Las Vegas. Yeah. At all. Uh, there, there, like there were no pictures it just anywhere. Like, it's, yeah, it could just be a hotel yeah. somewhere. No for pictures all. from yeah. any like Las Vegas. They don't landmarks. go to the strip. Uh-huh. They don't go to like the, like, the, like the weird like ghost town part of Vegas or anything, uh-huh. you know? So uh fortunately though, we might or we not might, we will be getting a second chance. Ooh, redemption. Because Hori Miona is releasing her second photo book. Yes. Oh, come on, let's go, please. Let's please, go, please. Hori. Redemption. You need, she needs to redeem herself for this one. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to blame her for her shitty first yeah, photo book. Because yeah. yeah. she looked great. Um, yeah, it, it was know. just the, she, the she same like, five shots yeah. over and over. There are, there are a few photos that I really like from that, but yeah, yeah. overall, like the setting the, you know how we were talking about before Leah oh yeah that's the one i was thinking about <laughs> mm. <laughs> but yeah there wasn't there wasn't a lot of uh variation in the book in my opinion yeah, it was like grass pool hotel mm-hmm. yeah dude um so you know it's hori is jimmy's nogi zaka oh she she is mm-hmm. like number two for me oh, please so oh, I, I have big please, expectations he's got to make up please. for please Please. It's got to go you over and above. Fight these out. You won't go and <laughs> what? Um, you never watched Jackie Chan Adventures, yeah, I Josh? Uh, I did. So- I don't remember that. <laughs> that was the prayer that Uncle always did. What do you say? Yo mu goi goi find these out or something like. No, I, don't, I don't remember. Anyway, the photo someone book, actually speaks Chinese is probably like. Uh, just <laughs> like every other photo book from Sakamichi series and whatever else now, there there's a social media mm, on Twitter. Yep. It is Hori Miona 2ND. It's separate from their first one. I, I guess maybe it's is it a different publisher. I don't know. I don't know. But Do we know any photographer or location or anything? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. Well, just the, from the Twitter and Instagram? The Twitter only no, has the picture. Been, uh, they just announced that. Uh, it's going to come I out think, 2020. That's pretty um, much it. They announced yeah. it on Showroom. Oh, yeah. And I think she was there where they shot it because it didn't look like she was in japan or whatever oh really mm. so they just like wrap up or something maybe yeah because uh, it comes out 2020 yeah so they're so still they just shot it. it didn't say like january it okay. just says it's coming out 2020 I mean, she's in france guys <laughs> oh okay uh this there's because uh, yeah they did a showroom stream from is she I gonna visit um, she was... <laughs> the Sugayuka slums? Oh my god, <laughs> that's a throwback Taking right there. Right there. <laughs> oh, that's an old school thumbnail, dude. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, so uh, in the showroom stream, she's like, like in front of this restaurant eating. Yeah, so, so she must be shooting it right now. Uh-huh. And then it's like, all right, you gotta get a head start. Mm-hmm. But yeah, since it comes out next year, is gonna be a long time mm-hmm. until then. Didn't even say what month. I mean, obviously, earliest January to that 2020, right? Yeah. So, uh, or it could be December. You never know. Yeah. 
Oh, um, okay. My, my I'm going to wait a whole year is, for a horror photo book. <laughs> my money is probably like spring, like hopefully like early to mid February, spring. March-ish. Yeah. I can see February. Yeah. Um, so there's also the Instagram account, Hori Miona underscore 2ND. Look at yep. Mr. Josh Box already following it. Already. Ooh. Already. Be Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Ooh. So, uh... uh. Looking out for that one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, Another one to, you know my bookcase? Th- this section of photo books is already full. I had to start putting stuff over here. Oh, no. See, I, what I'm happy about is I can definitely get this one because that means all they do is pull the old hoary one down. From the shelf. <laughs> Replace. <laughs> uh, but that's better. It's a nice that surprise when I, when I saw it. <laughs> Uh, when I saw well, we hope, the tweet, because I wasn't yeah. honestly, I wasn't expecting a, a yeah. second Hori book. Where's yeah, our yeah. Mizuki photo book? I want the Umezawa one, please. Give me the Umezawa book. I, f- I feel like it would be too soon, but part of me feels like Kaki is going to get one soon just because mm. of how much oh my God, they've been putting her in everything, dude. Too like, soon. You see what happened to Yoda? <laughs> See what happened to Bemiho? Oh. <laughs> F in the chat for Bemiho's photo book. For Bemiho. <laughs> no, none of us have it. She didn't, she didn't deserve this, dude. Does any, anyone in chat or in the comments have Bemiho's photo book? That Let us shit know. was so random. I was like, Bemiho. If you do not have it, type F. <laughs> <laughs> F in the chat for Bemiho's photo book. <laughs> um, oh, oh, no. Even Slope Club threw an F. <laughs> Oh, rip, dude. Um, <laughs> I'd like to see the Plum Chan Umezawa Minami photo book. I'd be happy with that, too. Uh, or Mizuki's fine, too, I guess. Either either one. I feel like uh, I mean, I, mean, like, one? I, I guess those two are, are the closest for me. Mm. Uh, as far as uh, third gen Nogizaka goes. I could see Kubo potentially getting one. Mm. Yeah. It's fairly popular. Soul yeah. Chan. I could see one of those. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, Soul Chan is too soon, dude. Oh, uh, it's too soon. Okay. Too soon. Too yeah. soon. Too soon. Uh, I'm, s- I'm still waiting on the glow up, dude. Please. It feels please like no- there's a please, no gi gods. Please. <laughs> there's been a general like slow down. Oh yeah. Of photo. Thank God. Don't they usually come out like in Thank December God. though? Like, no, a, like isn't they, like a whole rush just... in December? Maybe. Like, I, I feel like that happened last year and the year before. Like in December, like three came out of, all of a sudden. Maybe. Yeah, there was. Uh, who was, who was released last year? I don't remember. At the end. Uh, it was like mostly Nogizaka, right? I think so. And then there was yeah, that like period where like Reika and like Kazumin and like Koshimina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always right? like bursts of them. Right? All those. Like, yeah. They all like. But yeah. But uh, yeah. I'll be buying this. <laughs> Right, because <laughs> this Sophie in the chat just says, "Ideally, I want Peach Gate Great Garden." Yeah. Oh, damn it! And Come just, back, dude. I just hate these stupid literal translations <laughs> of their names. Ozono, it's so good. That's dude. the best name, dude. Uh huh. Ozono Momoko, dude. Oh, the Peach Kid from the Great Garden. Where's she been? I mean, she's she's <laughs> back in some form, but just not mm-hmm. as much as she. You know, she's not on Nogi Chu or anything like that. Mm. But she performed on uh, their tour and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it could oh, be cool. that, you know, like all these pre recorded episodes and stuff like that. Maybe she'll, I oh, just, yeah, she'll eventually catch I just want her to come back, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, me too, dude. I miss, her, I miss her just derping all over the place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, uh, speaking of derping all over the place, our, our captain, new captain, Akimoto mm-hmm. Manatsu, has been casted in a new drama, dude. Ooh. Uh, Hiki Nukia, uh, Head Hunter no uh, Ryugi. I think that's how you read that. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, basically, uh, it's like a, a place of employment where they poach people from other offices. Oh, shit. <laughs> head Damn. hunting? Yeah, that's what the head hunting refers to. Um, she plays like uh, the secator- secretary, young, beautiful secretary, and mood maker. Mood maker. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so uh, supporting uh, role here. Apparently, yeah. when you click on the video, it is not allowed to play in your area. All right. Let's <laughs> not do that. <laughs> uh, cool. 
Kiki Thank you, Wow Wow, for um, not letting us watch your trailer and promoting it. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't think they, they, they care that much, do you? They're like, uh, you, how many fans do you have in Japan? Like three? All right, now nah, we're good, dude. <laughs> so apparently this is like this... I don't know. There's been, there's been dramas before. It's it's not like completely new. Mm. It's like another season type of thing. Okay. Um. Oh. So that's that's well, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good luck, Mana Tan, dude. Her Going first role since getting, becoming captain. Yeah. Nice. Going out there getting some work, bringing back some some exposure to Nogizaka. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was the seri- kind of serious one, so. I feel like she's going to be, she's like the light. yeah, kind of the, a little bit, going to throw in a little bit of comedy in there. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. That's cool. I'd like to see more Nogi members in more dramas. Yeah. Yeah. Who are not Cause, cause like, Because at least dramas know, we can actually yeah. watch eventually, right? Just got to try a little hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not like, it's not like a. A stage play. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, that's cool. They're in that. Never gonna be able to watch that. <laughs> Just like uh-huh. Ito Juna's new stage play, Aho Roshi, dude. Queen of the stage play, as far as yeah. Nogizaka goes. Yeah, dumb, uh, dumb samurai, or or uh, I don't know how you want to try to translate Roshi Ronin. Oh, it's um, a uh, book adaptation, I guess. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's gonna be at Parco. Paruko, theater, paruko, paruko. Yes, that very Parco. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, uh, I think it's going to start airing January, January 8th. Oh, hey, the day after my birthday. Oh, happy and, birthday, uh, Jimmy. Ooh. Uh, my for, birthday's next week. <laughs> all through, all through uh, January till the 24th, and then they're moving to uh, Osaka on the 31st for a few dates as well. Cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Whatever this is about, I I hope it's good. I guess. What is Ito Juna getting your photo book? I a lot of people would like that. I think. <clears throat> I I would want a Yori photo book the most. Oh, she graduated. That's a missed bro. opportunity. Missed opportunity. Yeah. Nogizaka's biggest mistake. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> a photo book huh out of all the things out of everything (laughs) shit all right uh good luck ito juna i'm sure she'll do well she's always in she has the experience and shit yeah she got it uh Mm -hmm. but what else we got oh man some fourth gen work boys oh uh kind of got saya has, I don't uh, know who that is. <laughs> she's gonna have a radio show. On and she's uh the the Michelin Man girl. Yeah. Uh, she's gonna have her own radio show on uh Hokkaido Sorry, Radio. Sorry, I shouldn't I shouldn't reduce you to that. Yeah, man, that's just from a story she told. Yeah. She's not defined by that mascot, Jimmy. <sighs> well, that, now that's all gonna relate to her. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I, I want to like buy a handshake for her and then be like, hey. You're that Michelin Man girl, right? Just, <laughs> just wear just like the, a shirt with the <laughs> yeah. Michelin yeah, Man me. on it. Mm. Uh, but co- yeah, cool. She's... I mean, I don't listen to radio shows. A lot of Sakamichi yeah. members do radio shows. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, this one's uh, gonna be airing on uh, FM RG Hokkaido. Oh, uh, is, is in... this like Hokkaido only? Uh, I sure. assume. Yeah. Uh, emo mm. real. It's gonna be. The first and third Friday of every month, but hey, I'm just glad that uh yeah, some fourth well, gen yeah. members are starting to get some. makes sense. She is she is from Hokkaido, right? Ah, That's why. Makes sense, yeah. <laughs> I know shit yeah, about you... my own uh, yeah. prefecture mm. kind of thing. So. Yeah. So good luck uh, to yeah, you. good 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 job. Uh, hopefully, uh, yeah. it's a lot of fun for you, and you you do well. Mm-hmm. You had some experience at least. Mm-hmm. And you're good. All right. I think that does it for the current events for this <gasps> week. Look at that. We are through. Oh, but the show is not over. Oh, it wasn't? It is time for the Variety TV show roundup. Look at that. No this more is, uh, Hina Bingo. Oh, God. This is the segment Still- of the podcast where we talk about and recap 
the weekly variety TV shows from Sakamichi series groups. Um, that means we only have three shows this week, right? No. Right? Oh. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, That's okay. we also talk about other shows that they may appear on, uh, like one-off appearances or anything interesting like that. Mm-hmm. Yoshimoto Zaka's TV show, not the same format, um, but sometimes it's interesting. Yeah, if they are doing single releases and stuff, so mm-hmm. uh, we'll wait for their third single release. But um, that one Nogizaka travel show, whatever Kono San Hotoiteyo, they they re- aired like a shortened version of the. Yeah, should I'm just I, gonna like wait till the, the first full episode or whatever. Off. Yeah, I didn't mm-hmm. watch it, but um, the first two episodes of that is supposed to be uh. Or it's uh, Shirai Shimai and Matsumura Sayuri going to Hawaii. Mm. And then I think the the thing they aired was just like a 30-minute version. Or the bus yeah. driver thought they were a, a lesbian couple. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'm not sure. That's just what I've been seeing people say on Twitter. I'm not sure if he just asked them if they were married. or people No, because like, he's like, oh, are you married? And, and she's like, oh, oh, no, no. It's like, oh, why are you not married? You're so cute. He said that. And then people yeah, were like, yeah, yeah, oh, I think like, people I'm on Twitter are... Yeah, just memeing, right? Yeah, just memeing. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, I think they took an Uber or whatever. And, you know, just mm. Uber driver, right? Just try to, or a taxi, yeah. I don't know. Or taxi, I don't know, whatever. Just trying to make it conversation. Like, it was definitely a car. Yeah. yeah. But it was, he was like, yeah. oh, you look gay? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, uh, but, like, I was going to say, because, yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure there's memeing, but they did. They did kind of look like the power couple, though, you know? Mm. Well. Like, just chits, chits in the backseat together. Mm. Yes, Sayuri. Yes, my. <laughs> Where shall we have dinner tonight? Mm, I'm feeling seafood. What about you? Food. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm. I'll I'll wait for the full. Re- I don't know. Even know if I'm gonna watch that shit, dude. It's a travel show. They just. I'll watch it. My hands on it. Yeah. It's just a lot. You know. Uh, I, just, I need I think time. They, they- Allotted. I want to hear Maya speak English. That's my main goal of this. Oh, you really think she's gonna try, dude? I think she. she like, at least she's gonna herself make look foolish, dude. She's gonna make Matsumura she's... do everything because Matsumura <laughs> has been to Hawaii like eight times already. And that's probably gonna be her excuse. Like you've been here before, you do it. Yeah, mm. why? Like you know, if there's someone that's gonna speak for me, I will let them do it. <laughs> um, guys, we we sent them an email. They have not responded. <laughs> So, uh, start tagging them in the shit, dude. Let them know if they come to LA. They better hit us up. Uh-huh. Um, but anyway, that that's that's that. Let's talk about the regular shows that we watch. First one is Hinata Zaka de Aima Show, and we are Ooh, continuing I from watched it this week. A, Ooh, I watched it too. We're continuing from last week's episode. <sighs> see? Where, um, see what happens when Hina Bingo hits guys. <laughs> we're continuing from last week's episode where they. Re- or planning or they're practicing mm. their skills so they can shoot the one take music one video take. as the third single campaign. And so this week is the actual shoot. And so like mm-hmm. the plan is uh they they start like it's in a studio and then they start at the top where the monitoring room is and it starts with uh Ushio and then uh, she plays a little intro, and the camera falls, follows Kosaka now, and she goes downstairs. And then they go through everyone's little thingy, and then at the end, they, you know, they do the choreography or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, Kyonko's not there because she has a stage play mm-hmm. to take care of. So that's why she's in the studio with Audrey watching. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Why, why weren't you here for this? She's like, ah, I had shit I had to do. Yeah. Uh, and so... Yeah. Are there any notable things in this? This episode was actually good for me. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I, I, I definitely recommend it. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I haven't really been like excited to watch Hinata Zakadan the show in a while. But uh, this one was like very enjoyable. Um, mm-hmm. I think uh, I'm going to have a little bias here. But I'm a little bit upset that they kept like a little bit of the audio in for uh, Nibu's during her karate part. No, because it's like you know she's like doing these little kicks. It's just like her little Nibu voice, like ah, 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 <laughs> like underneath the song. Because everything else is like quiet, right? Like even though like they're obviously when they're shooting it, like 
people are laughing or yelling or whatever because they're trying to do whatever. Oh yeah. But then they, it's all it's all like you know the audio for that's cut out because the song's playing. Mm-hmm. But then they just put a little bit just so you hear it underneath mm-hmm. the song during the. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like no. Why are you put, doing? Why are you doing co- manibu they, like this, dude? They put Kosaka's um volleyball balance. Dribbling, yeah, 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 yeah. I heard that too. The uh the whole thing was synced pretty well, you know. Yeah. Because yeah. uh the at the part of the song where like the instrumentals drop out, that's when Kosaka now does her volleyball spike. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, mm-hmm. I never rooted for Hinata Zaka so much. In my life, I was like, "Come just, on!" <laughs> yeah, because it gets like down to the wire, right? Yeah. Like uh, they take the entire day, and they're like, "Yo, we can only be in the studio for like another hour, guys. We gotta get mm-hmm. this." Yeah. So they're like, "Ooh, how, how many takes did they have to do?" They did like thirty-five. Damn. Because, uh, so it's funny. It's like the the first thing after Ushio's little intro. Was the uh, Takasemana like golf thing, but they changed it to just a punt mm-hmm. instead of like juggling the ball on a club. She's like, they're like, there's no way you're the gonna director's do it. like, uh, <laughs> nah, <laughs> you're not even gonna do it twice. No, don't even try it. And then when they started, she misses. <laughs> then there's like, oh, we gotta go back upstairs. Oh, uh, it's like I think like yeah, the hardest part is just like the further they get, and then someone fails. Yeah. Uh-huh. So they right. actually get to the end with Kosaka now. Yeah, so she's the last thing. Uh, and like she's supposed to spike the ball onto like the Audrey cardboard cutout, and mm. she like completely misses it. And everyone's like, "No, <laughs> we were just there." <laughs> but it's, I think it's cute though. You know, all the girls like, "No, don't worry about yeah, it." Whatever. Uh, they were like very supportive. Mm. Like the double Dutch team was pretty. They were on much, point, uh-huh. dude. They were like, "No yeah, mistakes." I don't, <laughs> I don't uh-huh. think there was ever a single retake because of them. Yeah, mm-hmm. they just like went through. So the most retakes was from the Kendama team with uh, mm-hmm. Kanemura and, yeah. and Kawada-san. Kawada-san, yeah. Because they had mm-hmm. to do like this move and Kendama's yeah. not easy. It's pretty you intricate. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, do, they do the the easy stuff and the hard stuff. Which yeah, is- I mean like the other members comparatively had easier tasks to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Know? Yeah, like... Uh- Takamoto does like uh, the twirly baton thing because she. Oh yeah. When they had their like little intro event or whatever, she like dropped it. Yeah, when she they were like, still no. hiragana. Yeah, Kiyaki. so it's like I gotta get this, yeah. and she dropped it the first time. And they're like, <laughs> oh. but yeah, it was cool. Mm-hmm. I was uh, I was like rooting for them. Come on, girls, you got this, man. Like uh, mm-hmm. Sato, what's his name? <laughs> uh, Sato Mitsu. He was like there oh, watching in the back. <laughs> <laughs> he like showed up to like bring out the tables for the tablecloth. And he didn't even and notice no him. Noticed yeah. him. <laughs> and then he brought him boba, dude. Mm. All right. What a <laughs> guy, dude. Like, well, what? They got boba? I didn't get boba? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. At the very end, they, they have Kyonko do her thing. Because she was supposed to do the tablecloth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So but she wasn't there. people doing the tablecloth, supposedly, right? Yeah. So it was supposed to be, um, yeah. What is it? Monomo. Then, uh. Kanimura, uh, Kamimura, Kamimura, and then, uh, yeah, uh, Kyoko. Kyoko. Mm-hmm. But then, because Kyoko wasn't there, it was like Manamo, then Kanimura, and then they both do the last one together. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. is that oh, harder or is that easier? I feel like that's harder because you like you, you can know? synchronize yourself, right? Oh, and then, like, like with someone, it's mm-hmm. like okay, ready, and then it might be just like a hair faster one yeah, way. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. It was cool because they they ended with the uh, like the very last chorus part right after Kosaka now does her thing. They do like the full dance. Yeah, and they, they do the choreography. That was cool, yeah, and it looked car- nice. The you choreography know? is a little. It hits a little harder than I. Yeah. Oh yeah, I I thought it. Like, I think I it's because it, it was the yeah, end. The same. And it gets yeah. all more intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah plus yeah. they're all excited after like doing it finally. Like yeah, let's just go and like just dance it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like man, you guys are getting real crunk for a. A ballad. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a good episode. <laughs> it took my shoulders. <laughs> my shoulder. Uh, yeah, it was a good episode. Yeah. Yeah. This, uh, this week in general was a bunch of good episodes. Yeah, I agree. The next show is Kiakite Kakenai. It's also good because mm. it's just second gen being stupid because they're doing like variety, right? Oh, yeah, there's stuff y'all still need to see. About second gen, you know? Second gen, so good at variety comparatively. <laughs> Our first gen senpai are garbage at variety. Uh-huh. Let us show you how good we are. Because I think... And they are very good because I laughed quite know, a bit this they, week. They dude. learned. 
all right mm-hmm. um and so uh it's mostly takemoto and matsuda presenting like random things it was almost was okay like a hinata zaka show almost in level of chaos but at least <laughs> they had some sort of structure mm-hmm. uh in place uh can i can i just say if if uh takemoto yui ever fixes her teeth the way yamashita mizuki did i swear to god i'm gonna fucking riot dude <laughs> no, I will, no i will i will go to japan that's part of and her find, and find charm, that dentist charming look <laughs> <laughs> if she f- like fixed it regularly with braces then that's fine oh that, yeah that's fine but like if it, if it ever this is straight <laughs> even across <sighs> I, swear, I swear to god I'll someone's watch. someone's somebody <laughs> gonna get hurt real bad uh anyway i liked how her hair was too she like had a little braid off yeah, this. Yeah. anyway uh they're like woo yeah keaki te kakinai and tsuchi's like oh only uh ten chan and matsudaira over there a little <laughs> quiet i'm like bruh <laughs> they're not in the sand bats man uh, come on like, tsuchi when it was recorded right how you gonna you know they were both like oh god damn it <laughs> but anyway the first thing they uh they do is so like Takemoto Yui and Ino Irina are really into the Yoshimoto Shinki Geki, which is mm-hmm. like a theater slash TV show type thing. Um, so they reenact a, a like a skit by this uh, manzai duo, the uh, Drill Sun no Kai. It's like kind of stupid. So like one's like a Yankee or like Yakuza mm-hmm. type dude. Yeah, and he bumps yeah, yeah. into a salary man. And he's like, yo, yo, what the fuck, man? What, what the hell? And then Salaryman pulls out, like, a stick and starts beating him with it. And it's just, like, I don't know, silly, but, like, fast-paced, right? Yeah. Mm. It's like, where, wherever he hits, you have to react to that kind of thing, right? Yeah. And then he starts, like, poking his nipple and stuff. Yeah. Yo, why are you uh, poking my nipple, guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, why ain't anyone stopping this, right? Yeah. Uh, and so, like, yeah, the, the two members do that. And it's... Mm. I don't know. Like, Pretty yo, stupid. we should never see an idol talking about why you drilling yeah. my nipple. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, is this okay? Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they left it up, so they aired, so I guess it's okay. Mm. I mean, it was pretty well, funny. They, you know, know, you know, they're just they're just doing a skit, dude. They're yeah, doing yeah. a skit from another commit, but you know, it's the MC's job to highlight the fact that yo idols should not be talking like that. You know, yeah, it was very, uh, I guess, ORI centric because mm, yeah, yeah. you know the the two members really like that stuff. And so mm-hmm. they, they're trying to get, like, Inoue to do the Tamori thing, where they, like, they clap, and she's like, oh, and then they're mm-hmm. like, that's a, that's, that's a thing Tamori used to do. I don't know if he still does it, but anyway, that's the first thing, and then they do some other shit, mostly Takemoto and, and Matsuda being stupid. But uh, <laughs> the best part for me, there was a lot of Hono. <laughs> Yeah, dude, Hono got some good, uh, <laughs> some good screen time, man. man see, I, I'm like still holding on. Like, I haven't decided my my third gen pick or second gen. Oh, Jimmy's gonna pick, change. Man. I haven't changed it yet, but I'm like, Seki, you gotta give me something, dude. Uh-huh. You got. I swear, I'm not trying to hold on, baby girl, but you gotta give me something. All right. All, all oh. Seki was just like, oh, yeah, my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like, uh, just like. A nervous habit she has, or something, you know. Yeah, it's like, yeah. oh shit, I don't fucking know what to do, dude. I'm just... uh-huh. But I'm like, oh god, yeah. gotta give me some more than that, Seki. All right, all right, Fujiyoshi Kan is like coming for you, and you're not <laughs> giving me shit, okay? Yeah, they brought back the beady beady pen, because uh-huh. like Hono's things, like, oh, she has big reactions or whatever. But Hono's like, that's only like with noises and stuff, because I kind of like space out a lot, mm-hmm. and so they they try to get reactions by doing the the pen. But it was like weak. And she was <laughs> like, like, ow. <laughs> All right, Fujiyoshi, why don't you try? <laughs> she's like, holy shit, what the she fuck? Like, that falls on the yeah, floor she, didn't believe, she didn't believe that it hurt, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's like, I feel like every time I see on TV, I'm like, that's, they're definitely overreacting, dude. Mm-hmm. Then she does it. And they're like, yo, you look like you're yeah. overreacting. They make everyone <laughs> press the pen, though. Yeah. And uh-huh. then, like, Matsudaira, her only like line in the whole episode. <sighs> How many how many decibels are in this? <laughs> and I was like, oh man, Matsudaira. I I, I kind of wish that they had Ooh. kept in like them making fun of her for that a little bit more because all uh-huh. you get is like, bitch, did you just say decibels? And then yeah. it cuts to like the next thing. I'm like, yeah. no, come just on. Immediately, she right? was, give her some love. To me, on, she was man. like 
surprisingly low key. Mm-hmm. But maybe that's because she's not in the Senbats. Damn, uh-huh. man. Come on. Yeah, dude. She <laughs> fucking Suchi. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Uh, Matsudaira and uh, Tenchan, you're awfully quiet. I, man, fuck you, man. What, what do you think, <laughs> Suchi? <laughs> yeah, uh, but I think it's also because all the other members are like being rowdy as hell. You know, Takemoto and, and Matsuda trying to make this mm-hmm. joke they're like yo you're like a manzai duo right now what the hell you know mm, yeah yeah yeah. because i think one of, one of the things is that like uh morita like she always does these like blog like titles where it's like just normal shit like that everybody has like experienced at some point like you know like little things like oh man like the feel when right it's yeah. like basically yeah. like you know the feel when you uh like what is it reach to your tissue box and then it's fucking empty but, it's but then not you it. look down and surprise there's another <laughs> one and then they like do this whole little skit based on it it's like oh i totally get that dude uh-huh. Uh-huh. but it's you like know, it the... totally has nothing to do with morita at all and they're like yo that's that has nothing to do with her anymore like you two yeah. are just trying yeah. to make jokes yeah dude they're like you, she's just like the comedy writer for your mom's eye group dude yeah. it's like all right can you can you do one right now and it's like morita goes over it's like oh i'm gonna talk about this <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Word. Uh, but yeah, towards the end, they do this like the the Russian cream puff because it's supposed to be like reactions, right? Because mm, they're a variety show, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And so they split up into teams, and like each member goes and like, all right, I'm a, I'm a pick this one. They eat it, and it has like the spicy thing, and it's just uh, you know general variety. Sweet reactions God, or lack you gotta, thereof. You gotta, give, you gotta give me something, Seki. All right. <laughs> you see Fujiyoshi with that with that fucking cream puff, man. She bit it. Was like, oh god, it's mustard. Or is it? Had had to have Hono go in there and check her mouth. <laughs> okay, check, check her mouth. She's yeah, like, oh, yeah, no, that's that definitely looks, mustard. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> uh, Meanwhile, Seki, all you give me is mm. my hair. Mm. <laughs> Baby, go please. Maybe that's, you know, like, man, I joined Kiyakizai because they're all demure yeah. and shit, mm-hmm. right? It's like, is this Hinata Zaka now? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's the wrong group. This is not that? what I joined. Nah, she's, she's, she's just there to look at cute girls, dude. That's all she fucking Ooh. cares about. She's like, I already, I already got what I came here she's for. She's the winner already. here, dude. Yeah. Mm. Right. But uh, Anyways, next, uh, next, next week, yeah. they're going to... Show some Tokyo Dome stuff. Oh. Mm-hmm. That should be good too. Yeah. Because I always like behind the scenes episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Especially Tokyo Dome looked live yeah. as fuck, dude. Mm-hmm. So I, want, I really don't want to see some more. Yep. Um. Anyway. Next one. Is Nogizaka Kojichu. We're continuing from last week also. I swear to God, dude, I was um, I was like trying to fight the tears watching this episode, dude. I was laying right there. My roommate was right there on his bed. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, I swear to God, I'm not going to let him see me cry, dude. Jimmy, <laughs> you okay, bro? <laughs> Fuck. He's got something in my eye. They're just hiking. What's wrong They're with climbing you? Mount Fuji. What's wrong with you? <laughs> they started last week climbing Mount Fuji for the, was that, 24th single hit campaign. Mm-hmm. And so all the fourth gens went, plus new captain, Akimoto Manatsu. They split mm-hmm. into two groups, uh, climbing different routes. And so, last episode we left off, they were at like the seventh station, heading to the eighth station. And mm. so, uh, the Endo Sakura group, uh, they're all split up because half of them are going up at a faster pace. And so, yeah, they're like, oh yeah, we we going, boys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I want that curry waiting at the tap. Yeah, <laughs> so they get like they they get to the eighth station in like seven hours. The the faster half from mm-hmm. the from the fifth station, I think, right? Not from the seventh to the eighth. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, it's total yeah. time they were all like on the mountain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the other half of her group get there like an hour later. They're mm-hmm. like fucked. It. They're like, oh my god. They're like. <laughs> Pretty much just using the stick to walk the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you know, like you could definitely tell it's like the altitude that's what's getting them. Because like the way they're walking, that's not normal fatigue walk, right? Like like it's it's you know, like they're not getting air. Yeah. Because it's not like they're going to the muscle or whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, because like, you know, if you if you ever like ran too much, then you're like your legs are sore one way. But then that is just like, dude, I can't fucking like my legs just don't want to fucking move. You mm-hmm. know, I've done like a like a three day backpacking trip before. And like, I didn't make it like and this is even like Mount Fuji high. This is like the San Gorgonio, which is like, I think the highest peak in Southern California. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like yeah. I didn't even make it to the summit just because of like, not that like my, I, my body was wrecked or anything, but it was just like the altitude. I just couldn't fucking take it, you know? Mm-hmm. So yeah. like, I was like, I don't know. I was so super kandoshta watching these girls. Dude. I was like, oh, oh, yeah. look at the fucking gambata, uh-huh. dude. Oh. Sometimes, you know, like, uh, you need to acclimate, right? Like you're not conditioned. Mm-hmm. I don't uh, doubt any of these girls were, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> They're uh, not mountaineers, man. Um, uh, what it is is like your red blood cells count because then the more red blood cells you have, the more oxygen you can carry. To no the oxygen. Yeah, so they get to the station and rest, eat some curry. And on the other side, there's the Akimoto Manatsu group. Mm-hmm. Um, and they get to the ninth station, which is, it's kind of weird because the, the ninth station in their route is barely higher than the eighth station. Yeah, because they're like different lengths, the, right? Yeah, they at the Endo Haru. Uh, Sakura group uh, mm-hmm. took, but anyway um, Manasu starts having issues with her leg but they, they make it to the to the station mm-hmm. and so yeah, they're like at that point it's like closer to get to the station right than like yeah, to, to get her leg look at than like to try to go back or something. yeah and so uh, it's like raining um, on the side that Manasu's group right it's like windy mm-hmm. and there's all this windy rain. rain it's like a typhoon right and they're like, damn, dude, look at this weather. <laughs> dude, yeah, that weather, I was like, no professional would hike in that, you know? And so, like, yeah, the, the, their guide is like, all right, uh, we might not be able to see the sunrise, yeah. but we're going to wait and see, you know? Because, uh-huh. you know, it's like cloudy and shit. So both groups, they, they chill until the sunrise and they get to see it. It's like, ooh, so nice. Mm. And they and the ring. They stick around until morning and then try to summit. And mm-hmm. then um, Manatsu's group, the, the guide is like, all right, let's try to summit, but I want to see how you all are feeling first. And then Manatsu's like, yeah, I want to summit, god damn it. He's like, uh, no. And he's like, nah, dude, your leg is, you know, it's I've too much. I've evaluated all the options. Yeah, it there's no. too much concern for that. We, you know, we don't want to get you all hurt and shit. So no, mm-hmm. you don't She's get got- to go. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, "Damn, dude!" She's like, "The captain's curse." <laughs> All the tears, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, I don't know. It, I don't want to assume, but I feel like generally, like being around athletes, you can tell when someone's faking it, right? Like when they're like, "Uh, you know, like I, I'm just really hurt. I don't think I can make it." Mm. But like, I didn't get that vibe at all watching Manatsu, uh-huh. dude. It was just like, no, she's like legit, like is super frustrated. She can't go, you know. Mm-hmm. It makes sense. There's a lot of stakes for her, right? Yeah. Like this is her first thing as a captain. She's like got all of her kohai there, so she wants to set an example. Like it's rough, yeah. dude. Yeah, mm. she still wanted to go even with the fucked up leg. Mm-hmm. But the guy was like, "Nope, I can't let you do that." And so mm. uh the rest of the fourth gen who are with her go instead. And then on the other group, uh like four of them can't go because the doctor was like, "No. Yeah. <laughs> you won't survive up there." So no. You don't get to go. And so it's, it's only like Endo Sakura and Kaki Haruka, I think. Not Kaki. Kaki uh, no, was Kakehashi, in. Sorry. Kakehashi, Kakehashi, Kakehashi was Sayaka. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so those two go. Girl, my poor girl Kaki didn't make <laughs> um, And yeah, both groups make it to the summit and they meet up at the summit and they're like, oh, hey, uh-huh. what's up? Mm-hmm. And they take pictures and then they do the stuff that, like, you know, what the, they brought the, the items or whatever. Mm-hmm. Kaki, yeah, she's playing her switch. <laughs> she's like, I won the level. I, I beat the games. Uh-huh. And then, uh, who was it? Hayakawa got the air for Banana Man. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Um, the the summit of Mount Fuji is like pretty big, right? It's not as like it's not a tip. Mm-hmm. It's more mm-hmm. of like a like a plateau. wider like, like yeah plateau even. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I thought it was going to be like hella crowded, like, you know, some Everest type shit. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, we can stay here for like 10 minutes before we All right, let's go down. have to go down. Yeah. yeah. And so they do this stuff. And then it shows the little music video with the, with the new song, like they always do. Um, it's, 
Shout out to the camera crew. <laughs> yep, had a struggle yeah. along with yeah, them. dude, with all the heavy equipment. Yep, I saw some with the uh, you know, like a gimbal, gimbal. GoPro yeah, setup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, that that would be so tiring, dude. Like, yeah. Why why didn't they get him the vest? Oh, <laughs> like in the Hinata Zaka. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Hinata the Zaka. I'm gonna show. They had like the steady cam on the the vest. Yeah. Like they make those for gimbals now. You know, like. Mm. Because the thing about gimbals is that it doesn't take care of the up down axis, so like if right. you have the vest, then it handles that. Ooh, yeah, mm-hmm. and also it takes the weight off your arms, you know. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, these episodes are cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, was, uh, I was super moved. I don't want to like. I think like Mount Fuji is the only like hike that I actually want to do from all the single hit campaigns. Even though I want to climb up the ice wall, dude. Nah, nah. Dude. <laughs> I'm good. I mean, they've done other hikes. Where it's mm-hmm. like, oh, we're going to go to this power spot on top of this the, mountain. The waterfall one? You want to do that one? But, oh, hell no. Those are whack, dude. I don't know. <laughs> mm. But like, I don't know. Actually, Mount Fuji actually looks like pretty cool, right? Mm-hmm. And not yeah. just because yeah. it's like, uh, you know, a lot of people go there and stuff. But, you know, it just seems like a cool climb. A cool check off your list kind of thing? Yeah. Mm. Not that I can do it. <laughs> I think it's like a very reasonable one if you like pace yourself and you... Yeah. uh like definitely take care of things like like uh making sure you're acclimated to like the altitude. Yeah, uh case uh, case of madness is in the chat. He's he's gone up Mount Fuji. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So but yeah, they, I mean I don't know, we don't know what the girls like work schedules are like that outside of doing this. So that maybe they had a concert oh, thing before. Was it that said like tired. yo, I was I was supposed to like meet my friend or some shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh it was uh, But I'm on this Ray. mountain. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't uh, even tell her I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's like, I, my, I didn't bring my phone or whatever. Like, how yeah, am I supposed yeah. to tell him? <laughs> anyway, um, that was a good episode too. Worth watching. Mm. If you want yeah, yeah, yeah. to see the girls gone bate and shit like mm-hmm. that. If you want to feel the feels they felt that day, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the last uh, TV show, you thought it was over because oh. Hina Bingo is over. No. This week we have no Diego. Oh. No Diego, one episode a month at the end of the month. Mm-hmm. We're back. Back. Uh, our, all the regulars are back. Higuchi is back yes. with black hair. Mm. Oh. Mm. Um, so in the intro is usually the talking point. And for this episode is, what did you do over the summer? Uh-huh. What did you guys do over the summer? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember what what the hell did I do over the summer. I edited videos. Yeah, we, we edited videos of work stuff when we had time, dude. And what school? <laughs> yeah, so you know, Nogizaka had a tour over the summer, so I'm uh, busy doing that. Yeah. Uh, after that is the little situation thing. Uh-huh. That's usually with Nick, but Nick's not mm-hmm. there this month. Oh. But Ike was there. Mm-hmm. He's uh, been on the show before. Yeah. yeah. I guess. I'll take I'll, I'll take Ike, I guess. Ike's I can't cool. have Nick. Yeah. Uh-huh. They know each other. Uh, mm-hmm. Usually it's like, oh, this situation might come up when you're overseas kind of thing. And so mm-hmm. uh, the Shin- Shinuchi does one. It's like she wants to buy tickets for a musical. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, what, what, what's your favorite genre or whatever? What's your favorite movie? Uh and she's like, my favorite movie is uh, Devil Ir- is Prada. Or whatever. They're like, what? I've never heard of that movie. It's Devil Wears Prada, guys. Come on, come on. Guys. That, that movie's good, man. <laughs> yeah, I dude, like that movie. Anne Hathaway. Ooh. Yeah. Never seen it. Meryl Streep. Oh, okay. Streep? Yeah, dude. <clears throat> That's she is say. the devil because, you know, she's the uh, boss. She's 70 years old. Meryl Streep can still get it, dude. That's all I'm gonna say. That is one example where she, what is, what is the, the supporting actress out mm. acted the, the, the main actress, the starring actress. Yeah, dude. Anyway, uh, Higuchi's situation, she needs help finding her friend, Maramaya, at the amusement park. Always gets lost. <laughs> you know, she's like a, a hundred meters tall. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, that confused me because I was like, wait, what? But then I realized they, they count height in centimeters, right? Mm-hmm. Not in, in, in metric, not this crap imperial shit over here in mm-hmm. 
in America. She said a thousand, right? She's like a thousand. But she was like she didn't uh, she didn't know how to say hundred or whatever. And so, anyway, the next part they do this guessing game where they have to guess a member, uh, or one one member has to guess, and then the rest try to give uh, hints by way of answering Ike's questions. Right? It's like, mm-hmm. is she? older than you and they're like mm-hmm. uh maybe when they asked shinichi i was like no shinichi if anyone's older than shinichi <laughs> then the answer is automatically should i <laughs> no shinichi is the oldest though right she is oldest yeah she's older than mayan oh she is yeah uh, I th- I th- shinichi is the baba dude. Okay. she's the oldest yeah, yeah. uh you know it's uh I ask I questions. Barely, right? They answer. I think barely or something like that. Uh, oh, they're the same year, but Shinuch in January and Mayan is August. Oh, okay. See, <laughs> is um, she older or younger than me? Huh. <laughs> um, and then the last game was kind of weird. It's not really a game. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so they're like, oh, these some of these words are like used overseas or known overseas. Hmm. And it's like a board of. Of like words and they each pick one mm. and they're like do you know what whatever word means and ike is like yes <laughs> <laughs> well, i was like what is this segment dude i know right i'll either say yes i know or no i don't because i think like they're supposed to say it in an accent mm. right because say like karaoke right mm. like we don't say karaoke, karaoke. we say we karaoke, karaoke bro mm. Yeah, I think that was the point. They're supposed to say it that way as like Ike is from America or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. He wouldn't know. So if they ask him that, then or that that's supposed to be like the point of the segment, I guess. Mm-hmm. Right? It was yeah. kind of weird. I don't know why. Like, I'll, I'll never forget when I found out, I'll realize that like the term skosh mm. is actually sukoshi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, like, because like, yeah, like, it's like to me, like it's, a, like, it's like a, a white person thing, right? Like, yeah, sorry, yeah. like you know, a very like old American thing, right? Like, oh, just give me a little skosh, right? But apparently, it came from when uh, a lot of soldiers were in Japan after ah. World War Two, mm. and then they picked up, yeah, skosh. And like, but then you know how you say it's like skosh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And so it became like, oh, just give me a skosh, because mm. mm. like, yeah, like one of my friends, like, and this is why I say it, like to me, I've associated it as like a white old white person thing. One of my friends' dad. Used to always say that, right? Really? Oh, that's yeah. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's from Skosh. Skosh. yeah, they, it actually blew my mind. I was like, I was like in a linguistics class, and my professor, I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, actually world like, colliding. Uh. Uh. <laughs> there's like a lot more uh, Japanese words used in everyday like English conversation. There's more mm-hmm. than I thought, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Because, you know, you you know of, like, karaoke and, like, Mm -hmm. those kind of words. But there's, like, others, you know, like, in photography terms, right? Bokeh is. Bokeh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, so that's interesting. Mm -hmm. There you go. Slow podcast. Sakamichi series and learn stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Um, dude. Anyway, there's always, like, the loser in the episode, right? And guess Mm -hmm. what? Dan Chan loses again. Because I guess she picked one of the words... And Ike's like, I don't know what that is. And they're like, what? I mm. forgot what it was, though. There were only like two fan. words. It was the fan. What was it? Oh, Uchiwa? Uchiwa, yeah, that's what it was. Right? Oh, I, I guess so. And he was like, um, nah, I don't know what that uh-huh. means, bruh. They're like, all right, the loser has to do like a kiss face to the camera or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. See you next month. Uh-huh. Hopefully Nick will be back. We'll see. Please, I miss I miss his handsome face. <laughs> uh, that, miss playing D and D with. Him. Yeah, our quest has halted. Damn it. Anyway, that's the end of the right TV show roundup, which means it's the end of the podcast. Oh no, is it the end of episode ninety five? It is. It is. Um, it is. But if you want to keep with us in the meantime, you can always follow us on Twitter. So you always know everything that we're doing, what's going on. Or uh, hit the subscribe button if you're watching this on YouTube so you can always uh, stay up to date with our most current videos. Uh, we have some stuff coming out down the pipeline, so please look forward to that. And uh, as always, uh, you can follow us on Twitch when we go live to do these podcasts every Tuesdays 
uh, at around 7 p.m. Pacific time. Until next time, this has been the Slow Podcast. Bye. Bye. Bye.